extremists bombed and opened fire on a large gathering of worshippers during Friday prayers. Witnesses say armed men drove up to the mosque in four off-road vehicles, detonated the explosives, and then shot at survivors as they fled in panic. The town where the attackers struck is in the northern half of Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. Security forces have been battling militants there for years. Let's go to the CBC's Nala Ayed now. She is in Lebanon. So Nala, what more can you tell us about this horrific attack? Well, it is being described as one of the worst such attacks, one of the deadliest in all of Egypt's modern history. What we understand is based mostly on witness accounts. And as you said, they say that it, the attack started with uh, the detonation of an explosion inside the mosque, where, as you can imagine, during Friday prayers would have been full of people there to worship. Uh, that's how it started. But as people started leaving the mosque, apparently attackers, a number of them, wearing military uniforms who had arrived in 4x4s opened fire, apparently using rocket-propelled grenades and automatic weapons. And further, they had blocked, apparently, the escape routes uh, just outside the mosque to prevent people from leaving the area. I should mention that this is area, the, the Sinai Peninsula, is a closed area. It's, it's been a long time since the media have been allowed to go in there, even Egyptian media. So a lot of the reports we're, we're getting are based on witness accounts. Uh, and so what we're hearing, though, is that because of the large number of people inside the building, you know, that explains the, 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 the big number of casualties, both among the dead and the injured. Uh, security has been stepped up in Egypt as a whole at the Cairo International Airport. And just a short while ago, we heard from the Egyptian president who said that this attack will not go unpunished. Now, do we know anything about who might be responsible, Nala? Well, so far there has been no claim of responsibility, but as you probably know, there are a number of groups, militant groups, that operate within, within that area, one of the most known, and one that uh, experts are suspecting may be behind this, but again, it's not confirmed, is a group called the Sinai Province Group. Uh, it has been uh, responsible for a large number of attacks in the area. It, is, it did pledge allegiance to uh, ISIS back in 2014. It, it claimed responsibility for the downing of that Russian airliner in 2015. Uh, and apparently it has about 1,000 or 1,500 fighters, but they tend to attack security forces. They don't, generally speaking, although they have in Cairo, but in the Sinai Peninsula, generally they go after the, the security forces and not civilians. Uh, this changes that, obviously, and again, one of the worst in, in modern history in Egypt, but definitely the worst we have seen in that very troubled region where trouble seems to just uh, increasingly happen.